Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I am going to show you some of the very simple hugging face Intel transformers which you can start using and implementing it very easily. You can run all these with a very simple effort and that's going to be very useful as well. Intel has recently collaborated with Hugging Face and they have given a lot of transformers for you. These models are available for you to pick it up and you can run that with ease. I'm going to see that and before we go into it, we should understand what a transformer is yet again. A transformer is a type of deep learning model architecture used primarily in NLP tasks. This is a key innovation and most importantly, the basic idea behind the transformer model is that the self-attention mechanism. Yes, the self-attention mechanism generally allows the model to weigh the importance of different words in a sentence when processing each word, thereby making it very easy. So this way enables the model to capture long range dependencies in the input sequence much more effectively compared to any of the previous architectures that we are familiar with like the CNN or RNN. So in the future transformers are going to gain more attention as well. So it is good to learn this. Transformers basically consist of an encoder and decoder where as we all know the encoder processes the input sequence and the decoder generates the output sequence. Each encoder and decoder layer in the transformer has multiple self attention layers. I just briefed it some time back. So each encoder and decoder layer consists of multiple self attention layers and feed forward neural networks. There are multiple transformers that are already very famous in the market and you must have heard of it. BERT, GPT, Robert, T5, all these transformers are really famous and you can learn more about it if you want. Well, we are going to learn some examples quickly and I will start with DPT which is nothing but dense prediction transformer and it is trained on 1.4 million images for monocular depth estimation. DPT basically uses the vision transformer as the backbone and I have already explained vision transformer in my previous session. So here if you see that we have also got a neck and head added on top of the monocular depth estimation through this DPT. The model has been written in combination with the hacking face team and Intel. You can use this raw model so easily for zero shot monocular depth estimation and it's absolutely low code. Four lines of code will get you the complete implementation. You can see the code here. Some transformers import pipeline, that's it. And in the pipeline, the task has to be depth estimation where the model name is mentioned clearly as Intel slash DPT hyphen large. That's it. The work is done. I'm going to show you the demo right here and this time I'm showing it with the collab and you can try this out even with Intel Developer Cloud. So see the way the code has been run here. I am just running the code right now after explanation. So the code is available where the model chosen is DPT hyphen large. The image that is chosen for getting the depth estimation done is this image and we will now run this code. Once you run this code, you will get the proper depth estimation output obtained for you. And this is all going to happen real time. It's going to be very fast for you as well. Let's go ahead and see how exactly it works when it goes to the Google Colab mode of running it. You can use Intel Developer Cloud as well. And let's see the results here right now. You can also enable the RAM and disk usage visualization for you so that you can understand how much of RAM is being used. So let's see the result. Yes, it's almost done. If you see this, yes, yes that's it. So this is a very simple piece of code that gets you all the things done with ease. Here okay, the next model. Yes, we are going to go with the next model, DPT hybrid. What is the change that you need to do? Very simple. Just you need to change the model name in the code. And what is DPT hybrid? This is same as the DPT large, the previous one. But mild variation is here. It, it actually slightly varies uh, by using the VAT hybrid version instead of the normal vision transformer. And VAT hybrid is used as a backbone here. And let's see the demo. Same piece of code, a small variation where you need to include the model name as DPT hyphen hybrid hyphen Midas. That's the only change that you are doing here. And once you give that and run the code, again run in Colab, you'll be able to get the output get out of you. That's going to be obtained as well. So you can try out all these models with ease. They're all available, and this is absolutely low code platform, as I already told you. The output is available in front of you. So it's very easy and fun too. Now we do something with Intel Developer Cloud where we can try out all these things there. Yes, but for a different model. We are going to learn the usage of LDM 3D Pano model and these models enable generation of 
panoramic RGB depth based on the textual prompts. You are going to feed in the textual prompt and the output will be fantastic. Let's go ahead and see the demo. And the code is very really simple again. This is definite low code platform. After doing the necessary installation, fundamental installations, the only thing that you need to be careful about is to include the proper model name. You can see that I'm highlighting it right now. Intel slash LDM 3D hyphen panel is included. And then I will have to give the prompt. I'm just walking you through the page, official page as well. You have a lot more details there. And it's going to be very interesting when you read it through. The sample output is available. The code is presented very clearly. Just try it out. All these are really, very interesting. And that's going to be really helpful for you. Now, if you see the main code here, the code is very simple to understand where we need to feed in the prompt through this code, where I have given the prompt like a ground with a lot of people. That's it. People playing maybe. And I have to give a name and uni hyphen panel is changed as ground hyphen panel. That's the name of the image. Now that's it. I'll have to run it. And these are all the parameters that you can try tuning. And I'm getting the output enabled there. Now if you see this, I'm getting generated. And that's it. You got the output. It's all creative. So go ahead and try it out. Should be certainly useful. The depth image also will be available for you. So please understand you also have the depth image, right? Okay. One more final thing that we need to learn. Neural chat application. Yes, there is a model for it. Neural chat hyphen 7B hyphen B3 hyphen 1. So this is fine-tuned model that can be used for still language related tasks. I have just included the model name. The rest all remains the same. There is no major change in the code is typically very easy to understand. I can give you the link of this as well uh, in the description. Have a look at it. I also now walk you through the official page where details are presented to you. Go through it. This is a very silly simple uh, model which you can understand in seconds. Currently we are using it towards getting some mathematical operations done. We are giving the input as you are a math assistant. Your session is to help us understand various math problems. You should provide step by step solution. This is the prompt we are giving, and then we are feeding input as 1 plus 2 plus 30 plus 7 plus something. Like, for example, we can give 9. That's all. When I run it, it, will be, it may take seconds to put, but eventually you will get the output and you could see the result. All these are available and they are very useful, very easy to understand. Go ahead and try it out. If you have any questions, reach me out. I'll be very glad to assist you. I hope it's very interesting. Thank you.